You know what has the power to unite us? Music. I'm Kevin Olushala. I play cello, and I'm also the beatboxer of the Grammy Award-winning a cappella group, Pentatonix. I'm on an epic cross-country road trip to find the best young musicians in America in all their diversity and glory. Bravo! Thank you. And of course, jam with them. Today I'm in the great city of Chicago, and I've been here before performing with Pentatonix, but I actually haven't seen many of the tourist sites. So, I'm taking a lift down to the south side of Chicago to meet this amazing superstar. 16-year-old Ife Tayo Ali Landon, and I'm hoping that she can show me some of the sights. She actually plays my instrument, the cello, so I brought my cello with me so that we can perform together, but I've seen some of her performances, and I gotta say, she's good, and I don't even know if I can keep up. So I thought to get on her good side, I'd bring some food for us to eat from one of her favorite restaurants in Hyde Park, Lois. My name is Ife Tayo Ali Landing. I am 16 years old, I'm from Chicago, and I play cello. So good to meet you. How's everything? Good. Hi, good. Mom. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. It's so good to meet you guys. Oh my gosh. Come I brought some Beloys. I heard oh, that this is your favorite food hey, for breakfast. Yeah. So Thanks. when I walk into this house and I'm sitting down and I look around at all these portraits and all the pictures on the wall, mm -hmm. this house celebrates black culture. And I love that it's right there in your face. Why and how did you cultivate that? I love that so much. It just is who we are. So. Mm -hmm. Every day we look at us and we look at us in person and on the walls and celebrate artists of African descent, mm -hmm. it just is. So it seems like that there's this very long lineage of musicians throughout your family. Can you tell me about that? So my grandmother, so Ife Tayo's great grandmother, okay. she was a pianist oh, wow. and organist and she played in church. My dad is a violinist, violist. Uh, my sister, my older sister is a cellist. Okay. And um, and then there was me. Kai Kai, do you play an instrument? Yes. What do you play? Violin. But now, don't you also do something else? I heard you do track. Yeah. Now, are you thinking like you want to be like a track superstar? Or... Yes. I want to go to the Olympics. You want to go to the Olympics? Oh, well, you guys heard it right here, right now. <laughs> She's going to go to the Olympics. <laughs> Wow. Um, let me go back. When she was nine years old, we had locks. Um, people may know them as dreadlocks. So mm -hmm. we all have very long locks. Right. Um, when I got pregnant or had my next baby, I knew I was not going to be grooming a whole family and a bunch of girls full of locks. So somebody <laughs> had to go. So, uh, so I cut my hair like this. Yes. Um, and she saw that and she wanted, at nine, she wanted her hair cut. She not only wanted it cut, she wanted a mohawk. Oh, whoa. And I, was, and I was very resistant to the mohawk, wow. um, but I gave in, I let her um, get the mohawk, and I remember her walking from the barber to the car with the earrings that I thought were way too big <laughs> at age nine. And she had this confident strut oh, that wow. I wish I had had when I was nine. And when I saw that, I was like, my job is done. <laughs> But she has, you know, that confidence where um, she knows she's beautiful inside and out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in a world where the beauty standard is not necessarily what we look like. Mm -hmm. So you have to create your own standard of beauty. And that's what I like about her. One oh, of the wow. things I admire about her. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> so this is my room. Wow, oh my goodness. You have so much makeup. Yes, yeah. It's a lot. How did you get into all of this? Uh, at first it was because I wasn't allowed to do makeup or wear makeup. Okay. So I had to do it, of course. Now <laughs> I'm not allowed to. And also it's like art for my face, so I can do whatever I want on my face at any time. I'm going to take them around Chicago and show them all my favorite places and all the important places in Chicago. So I'm super excited. So wait, 
it. Why are we at this violin maker again? Well, they have been super supportive of my career, and honestly, they've loaned me more than a few instruments, so I love them. Hey, Bill. Hi, Vitao. So nice to see you. You too. Wow. This is Kevin. Hi. Good to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Absolutely. Well, welcome to William Harris Lee and Company. We're makers, dealers, and restorers of uh, string instruments. These are some of the instruments that are made in our workshop. This is a cello by Raphael Fiorini. So pretty. It's uh, from the mid 19th century. I was thinking you might want to take it for a run. Yes, thank oh you. Gosh. Oh my gosh. If Atai, you're so dedicated to this instrument, like what is it that makes you so passionate about playing cello? What is it that makes you so passionate about pursuing music in general? I don't have a really good answer for that question. Part of it is I like seeing the joy on other people's faces when I play. Mm. So I've had a lot of people come up to me and be like, you made me cry. Like oh, a wow. specific instance, uh, one of my mom's friends came up to me after I performed and was like, I cried the entire time. And she was still crying while talking to me. I was like, I did that? And I was like, I didn't realize how much this actually touched people. Talk to me about the lack of diversity in classical music. What's been your experience with that? I didn't realize there was any lack of diversity in my life, especially until I was like 12 or 13 and I went to the Sphinx camp for the first time. And it's for black and Latino musicians. And it was full of black and Latino musicians. And I was like, oh, I've been missing out on this all my life. This is great. So then I realized that there needs to be more diversity everywhere. People need to stop seeing it as, a, I don't wanna say white activity, but I'm gonna say, European activity sure and it's not a thing that only rich people can do it's just a thing that everybody can do and enjoy and you don't have to do it seriously you can just play it for fun One, two. One, two. <laughs> Thank you.